I have the good fortune of having in my possession right now uh, a prototype from CollectorKnives.net. This is a knife designed by Mike Latham. Uh, that it's in the prototype process, quite near uh, nearing release with Fox Knives Italy, and uh, it is very cool. I love it. Okay, um, now I'm going to be less emotional about this and just get to the facts. Okay, uh, this is a prototype, Fox Knives Italy, CollectorKnives.net, M390, really nice micarta with a nice texture to it, and, and I like the kind of rough finish. Actually, it's, it's very reminiscent of the rough finish on this Fox Knives made um, MK Ultra. So same kind of, similar kind of um, coarse canvas micarta with little to no polish on it. Bolsters, I believe that these liners are titanium, uh, but I'm not sure. In classy Italian fashion, my last name is DeMarco, by the way. In classy Italian fashion, uh, they round the, the uh, they crown the spine, like on many of the Italian knives I have, which I don't have many, actually. I, I only have one uh, Italian slip joint, but I've seen a lot, <laughs> and they're all crowned, and I think it's really cool. And the crowning continues onto the back of the handle, which is which is very, very pleasing to the thumb. What did they do about this knife that's I mean, something about this knife is very different to me, and I don't know exactly how they did it, but when you open this, from here to here to the half stop, from the close to the half stop, it comes open very easily, like very little effort. You can pinch it, you don't even need this nail neck. But then from here to the open position, it's stout, and you, you hear that, that click. I mean, it really opens and, and locks open really nicely. Of course, it's not locking, but it stays open with a very, very decent tension. And it closes with a very gratifying resistance. But what's really interesting to me is this first stage. How do they make this first stage of opening this um, so sim so easy, and then you know, and then stout? I don't know. I guess it has to do with the geometry of the tang. It's just my mind can't exactly conjure up how you would do that. I I think that the. I think that that one feature makes this an incredible knife. It could it could be a total dog, totally ugly and useless knife, not useless, but a totally ugly knife. And the fact that it has this action here would sell it. I mean, for me anyway. If you're a, if you're a fidgeter with the with the um, traditional knives or with the uh, slip joint knives, you know what I mean. Ooh, oh. it's very gratifying to do. Okay, enough about my gratification. Uh, I'm not sure what they're gonna be calling this, if it's uh, gonna be called the gunstock model or not, but uh, let me talk about a couple of the things I love about this. I love single-bladed slip joints. I like, I like multi-bladed slip joints too, but something about a single-bladed slip joint really sings to me. Uh, I love that uh, it's got this, um, the gunstock shape to it. If you look at it, it looks like an old cowboy rifle. You know, you put your cheek there, bang. But it really adds to the ergonomics here. See, for me, my hand falls falls onto it like that. And it gives you uh, your, your two smaller fingers back here. It, it dips down a little bit, gives you a little um, extra access, if you will. And it fills out the hand really nicely. And then I really like how he stepped it down here. Most gun stock models I've seen, like this, GEC 44, they just kind of come straight back. And not like I've thought that that was uncomfortable at all, but this is just extra comfortable. You put it in your hand and you, and you, I don't know, it just fits very nicely, especially with these opposing dips here. So very nicely designed knife and that uh, clip point shape to me is just gorgeous. They have, um, Mike has designed and Fox Knives has produced a, or maybe it was Mazarin, <clears throat> I can't remember, but one of the Italian companies produced a sow belly for uh, CollectorKnives.net that I also have to get. Well, not that I've gotten this, I'm borrowing this, but I have to get that sow belly. Uh, not only do I like the sow belly shape, but 
he designed another clip point blade for that knife that is just really beautiful. Kind of kind of like this, but different. And uh, I got to get my hands on that too. So I want to show you some size comparisons just so you get an idea of what, what you're dealing with. I find, uh, well, I like it. I like to do it. And I like to see other people's knife comparisons. Not just a size comparison, but it's sort of a use comparison too. Here it is with the only other gun stock I've... Well, this is the only gun stock I own here. And just so that you can see the handle, I'll open it up like that. Gabon Ebony, very, very nice. So let's put it with that. About the same size, about the same size, but it's kind of exactly the same size as the GEC 15. Yeah, I am really, really loving these modern builds of traditional style slip joint knives, especially the ones that Mike's coming out with because he is a lover of, of slip joint knives. <laughs> and so uh, the fact that he's designing them, I love that. This is a, uh, the Lion Steel, that's what it is, Lion Steel um, Gitano. My my little slip joint Navaja, and this too has the crown spine. It's just an Italian thing, I think. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Uh, let's see, I'll put that up there. And then a couple other knives you might know size-wise. Uh, here's your here's your Buck One Twelve. Here's your. Very, very popular case trapper. I love you, daddy edition. I love you too, babies. And then here it is with a Swiss Army knife. Uh, this is the standard length. I can't remember what the millimeters, 90 something millimeters or something. And uh, there it is. Uh, so this is the Pioneer X. Great, great knife, by the way. So kind of, kind of similar. It's a lot fatter, but uh, similar in size. So this is just a, I don't know, an impressions of this thing. And I can't wait till they bring it to market. And I can't wait to see what, uh, what other handle scale material will, will, uh, will be featured on this knife. I'm sure several types of nice woods and, well, I don't want to, I don't want to put maybe carbon fiber, who knows, but, uh, there you have it. So keep your eyes peeled people. Keep your eyes peeled for the collectorknives.net, um, single bladed, Gunstock coming out soon. It's, it's, it's awesome. Take. Oh, so easy. Oh, so stout. My word for it.